Catherine Stewart. Katie, to those who knew her, fell Saturday while hiking at a nature preserve near Lexington. A private prayer service began just about a half an hour ago at Notre Dame Academy in Park Hills. Local 12's Rich Jaffe found the school is one of the places this young woman left her mark, right Rich? That's right, Cami. Katie Stewart made quite an impression on everyone who knew her. Consistently, people are talking about how bright and smart she was and how compassionate. They're also talking about how tough it is to process what happened. Katie Stewart was a 2012 graduate of Notre Dame Academy. Ironically, the slogan on her yearbook is, it's not the end, it's only the beginning. And beside her smiling picture inside, the phrase, everything happens for a reason. Now those who knew her are not so sure. Oh, she had a lot of life in her, a lot of, a lot of goodness. When Katie graduated, Laura Kale was the school's principal. Thinking of her now brings a smile. She was outspoken. If she thought something, she would bring it to you. And she was not afraid to talk to adults and, and challenge things and question them. And I think that, uh, you know, she was respected for that. According to Lexington officials, Stewart was hiking at the Raven Run Nature Sanctuary on Saturday when she slipped and fell to her death. Repelling down the cliff face, responding rescue crews couldn't do anything to save her. When a boat was sent in to carry her body out, that boat capsized as it was crossing the rain-swollen Kentucky River. All of the firefighters made it to safety. At 22, Katie was a student at Transylvania University and expected to graduate soon. She also worked at a local ice cream shop where on Sunday they too celebrated her life. In the morning announcements at Notre Dame Academy, students and staff were handed a tough task, making sense of the senseless. We're at the beginning of Easter week, which for um, our Catholic faith is a very special and meaningful time. Um, and it is a time of a story that begins with a lot of pain and suffering and it ends in, in great hope and new life. And I think the um, challenge for us is to understand how do we find that hope and new life in a story. We're living it right now when we lose someone that's so dear to so many. Family members have suggested that if people want to make a contribution in Katie's name, they donate to the Humane Society in Lexington. Cammie? Rich, thank you. Services for Katie Stewart will be held on Wednesday at St. Agnes Church in Fort Wright. Visitation will begin at 3.30. The funeral mass will be held at 7 o'clock.